Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, I love you. This week we are sticking to knitwear because it's cold outside. <laughs> For me because I live in sunny LA. But you know, for everybody else in the world. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, it's starting to get cold here. And I didn't know this before, but sweater weather actually has like a determining temperature for every single state. It's specific to each state. So for most states, sweater weather starts when temperatures drop to around 60. So most of us are still very much in sweater weather season. But then for the cooler states, like Maine, Massachusetts, their sweater weather doesn't start until the 50s. 50, 55. You know, because they don't wear sweaters in 60 degrees. Get out of here. It's amateur hour. Are you new here? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen that trend? Are you new here? Yeah. sticking to knitwear this week and specifically sweaters we are going to do a sweater look today sweaters were all over the runway there are so many different sweater trends right now lots of fun colors mixing and matching of colors whimsical pairings saturated colors are having a huge moment right now any kind of pop that brings you out of the pandemic neutral era bright rich colors Lots of neons. Black and white is also trending right now. Beautiful mixing of prints and patterns is going strong. And then of course, exaggerated shoulders. Super, super exaggerated shoulders. Puff sleeves, padded shoulders, lots of structure. Deep drop shoulders, lots of embroidery. And then of course, neutrals and browns are always in. This beautiful sweater has the exaggerated shoulders, the stripes, the saturated colors, multiple trends all in one beautiful piece. Lots of stripes on Chanel's runway as well, and then her iconic pink. Doesn't this just get you guys so excited? <laughs> Good. Well, let's get to it. to replicate is Alessandra Ambrosio's cool and casual sweater look. This look has so many trends in itself, like the wide leg -like pant trend, oversized silhouettes, the drop shoulder, the dad sneakers, the geometric shades, bright colors, stripes, so many trends in this one look. I also love this look and picked this look because each piece that we're going to replicate today, you can wear it in so many different ways with so many different looks and so many different outfits. You guys know I love that. It's a super versatile piece. I also want to make a point to say that I know this, I know I say the word trends a lot and we focus on trends and we replicate trends and outfits that we love um, in all of my videos, but I try to be super selective in the trends that I replicate. And I pick trends that are circular, so they keep coming back again and again and again. So you can wear these items again and again and again, which makes it sustainable, you know, as opposed to picking fads. We do not do fads. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, fads are super short lived. They're like um, the pelvic cutout pants that were kind of trending, you know, this year. Bella Hadid wore it, Kim Kardashian wore it. So that's a fad, because that's not something that's gonna keep coming back again and again, and most people aren't gonna wear it. It's not very long-lasting and sustainable. So yeah, trends, not fads, and most of the trends that I pick are staples and are classics, and will come back around. So rest assured. All right, let's break it down. 
So the sweater that Alessandra is wearing is from Ann Taylor, and it is $98. And then the pants, I couldn't figure out where her pants are from, but her sneakers are New Balance sneakers, and they are $54. And she's wearing this crossbody phone case, which is from Bandolier, which is $106. And then her mini pouch bag is Bottega Veneta, and it is $18.50. Her sunglasses are Vela, and they're $160. All right then, let's start with the main attraction as always, the sweater. Now before we get into the green alternative for this sweater, let's talk stripes. And in particular, horizontal stripes. They're not everyone's friend. We've been beefing for years. I just want you to know I hate you. So I'm very petite, right? And I try to wear clothes that lengthen me, like vertical stripes. Horizontal stripes make me look wider and broader, and I never wanna look wider than I am tall, you know? And horizontal stripes tend to make people look wider and broader, which is why most people stay away from them, which is also why we will stay away from them today. So the green alternative that I found you to this beautiful Ann Taylor sweater is an even better chunky chocolate, super, super cool sweater. I'm really excited about this sweater because it's convertible. from a brand called Veta and it's convertible because you can wear it in four different ways. So you can wear it as a crew neck like this with the buttons running down the back or you could wear it with the buttons in the front like so or wait for this you guys. You can wear it as a turtleneck because it comes with a detachable turtleneck. How cool is that? And then you can wear it lastly as an open cardigan. So, so many fun ways to wear one piece. Super versatile, you can dress it up with some slacks, you could wear it out with a skirt, or you could even wear it with some sweats and be super cozy. It's honestly like the Renaissance sweater. <laughs> I love it so much. It's $168 plus free shipping, and it's 99% Certified organic cotton with 1% spandex to give it that stretch. And then it's knitted right here in the USA in a factory in Los Angeles. And another really cool thing about this and green thing about this is that its factory gets 70% of its energy from solar power. So it just checks off all the ride boxes. It's honestly one of my favorite finds. I love it so much. I just don't need a sweater right now. So if you guys need a sweater, buy this one and take a picture of your outfit and send it to me. Okay, thanks. Now for the pants. So as I mentioned, we don't know what Alessandra's wearing, but I did find you amazing wide leg jeans over at People Tree. It's their Flora Wide Leg Trousers, 100% certified organic cotton, and it's in their natural color, and it's called natural because it is literally the color of their organic cotton twill fabric, and it's undyed. So no toxic chemicals, no toxic dyes. They also call it their forever denim because it's made to last. It's also sewn using their Eco Verde recycled sewing thread. The thread is made from 100% recycled materials. So not only is it organic certified cotton, it's also made from upcycled and recycled materials. Something else that's really cool and green about People Tree is that they save up to 90% of water during their production process. So again, another piece that checks off all the right boxes, super versatile, organic material, and it's made to last. Now for the shoes, these dad shoes really aren't going anywhere. And by dad shoes, I don't mean the super chunky, bulky, bright colored shoes that were trending. I would consider that a fad. These are just regular ass dad shoes. And I found you some really, really cute ones over at Beha. I actually just bought my first Beha sneakers. I'll show you guys on my Instagram. They're so comfortable and they're so cute and I love all the colorways, so I can personally vouch for these. So for this look, we're gonna go with the mesh white sneakers. It has a very clean white look and then it has the tan to match with the jeans. It's a completely vegan shoe where the upper is made from recycled plastic bottles and then the rest of the shoe, like the lining and the base, is all made from wholesome plant-based ingredients like ricinus oil, sugar cane, banana oil, recycled polyester, and rice waste. So it's definitely a shoe that you can feel good about wearing and look good while you're at it. 
Now for the earrings, Alessandra is wearing these cute little elephant earrings that I think are made from wood. A little bohemian touch to her otherwise chic and classic look. Now elephants are pretty specific and I don't think most of you guys would want to wear animal cracker earrings, so I found something a bit more versatile. And get this, they're made from coconut shells. Look at these! It's from a brand called Coco and Souls. It's the white coconut arch dangle earrings, also known as their Camilla earrings. And yes, you heard correct, they are made from coconut shells. Repurposed dry coconut shells found by the Pacific seashores of El Salvador. It's such a fun shape and a great statement piece that's also pretty subtle and you can wear in so many different ways. Super lightweight, hypoallergenic, and organic. Who knew jewelry could be organic? <laughs> and it's only $23.99. Alright, now for the piece that I am most excited about. The pouch. So the pouch went viral in 2019 and early 2020, right before COVID hit, and when people still cared about it bags. And it was just a huge dumpling looking bag. It had no logo, no strap, and honestly it wasn't that functional because you had to carry it around everywhere. And in a world of crossbodies and saddlebags, it was a super rebellious design tactic from Daniel Lee. It was one of his first designs after he became creative director at Bottega Veneta in 2018. Appreciation for the pouch bag grew super organically. There wasn't much marketing or promotion. Rihanna posted a video of it back in October with over 15 million views. And then since then, the bag just went viral. Rosie Huntington, who I love, posted hers 39 times in only three months. Hailey Bieber is also a huge fan and has a little bit more fun with all of the prints and colors that Bottega Veneta has to offer. And due to all of this hype and success, Daniel Lee sweeped at the 2019 Fashion Awards, and the pouch became the fastest selling item in Bottega Veneta's history. Now the one that Alessandra is wearing is the mini pouch, and this one is a crossbody, it has a strap, more functional, and it's 1850. The alternative that I found you, which I'm very excited about, is from Pixie Mood, and it's under $100. Look how cute! And it's only $80, and it looks pretty much identical to the pouch. And it comes in three other colors. It comes in the desert clay, the vintage blue, which is only $60 right now, and the classic black. But for this look, we're going to stick to the sand color. It also has a fun chain link on the strap, and then, of course, it has the magnetic closure, just like the pouch. It's big enough to fit your phone. I'm just so freaking cute. This is also another one of my favorite finds. A lot of good finds in this look. And of course, it is 100% vegan. And to make it sweeter, it's recycled vegan leather. And the lining is made from recycled plastic bottles. Love, love, love everything about this bag. Now for the final piece, the sunglasses. And we are going to go to our good old faithful Aquila. Geometric shaped sunglasses are always coming in and out of style, so it's good to have a pair. And these are in a classic tortoise print in neutral shades of brown. And everything at Aquila is unisex. Maybe you need sex. I had sex a couple days ago. <laughs> Just a quick reminder that every pair is handmade in limited numbers to ensure top quality and craftsmanship, so you know you're getting your money's worth at Aquila. And then, of course, they plant a tree for every pair of sunglasses that they sell. there you have it folks, another cute and chic look made sustainable and that you can style in your own fun, unique, and gorgeous way. I hope you guys all had a beautiful Christmas and are able to spend some time with your loved ones. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.